Finding storage solutions can often be a challenge. But we've come up with this little build, which is super easy to make and nice and strong. And perfect for a kid's bedroom or entryway. And we'll show you how to do it. Here's our materials. Our two lengths of timber. Some dowel screws and Selly's Araldite 5 minute epoxy adhesive. And here's some tools you'll need. A saw, a drill, some sandpaper, drill bits and a tape measure and pencil. First up I'm measuring and marking the length of our shelf then I'll do the exact same to the mounting rail. Now there's no rules when it comes to how long or short you make it but we're going to make ours a metre. Now with both my timbers marked I can cut these to length. For our timber knobs, we're using this oak dowel which is 25mm wide and we're going to cut that into short lengths. I've given all my dowel knobs a light sand and now what I'm going to do is mark and measure out on my mounting rail so that they're evenly spaced. I'm drilling out the position of our timber dowel knobs and to do that I'm using a 25mm spade bit which is the same size as our timber dowel. A little tip here when you're drilling these holes out is not to go all the way through, you only want to go about 10mm deep. We're curving the ends of our shelf for a decorative touch, now to do that you can use anything that's round. Simply put it on the edge, we'll mark that to give ourselves a nice curve and we'll simply cut that out with a jigsaw. I've dressed the timber using some sandpaper and now we're ready to assemble. Screw your shelf and mounting rail together, but make sure that you pre-drill and that will prevent any splitting. Now to fix these knobs in position, we're using the Selly's Araldite 5 minute epoxy adhesive, which is perfect for this little build. It's fast setting, durable, and actually holds up to 75 kilos per centimetre squared once fully cured on steel. Before we glue our knobs in, we want to make sure that these holes have got no dust and they're clean and dry. To begin, we're going to snap out this cap and nip off the end of our syringe. Now, squeeze out equal portions of the epoxy adhesive and we want to mix this really thoroughly. Once mixed, we'll apply this to both surfaces, some on the end of our timber knob and then we'll put some inside our hole as well. Simply insert the timber knob so it's a nice firm fit. The initial bond of this glue will take in five minutes, but we're going to leave it for a full 16 hours so our glue reaches maximum strength. And there you go, a practical little DIY project that will help to keep the kids organised.